Hello everyone, I'm Francesca, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry for the same outfit and intro and everything for the last few videos. I'm away right now while you're watching this, so I pre-recorded a bunch of stuff. So if you see my last two videos, yes, I'm in the same outfit. I'm recording all this on the same day. So today we are starting our holiday videos and I can't wait. I love holiday time. As you can see, I already decorated for Christmas. I'm ready to go. So I always like to start off with a holiday gift guide for you guys. I find them super helpful. And especially because I think some people don't know what to buy. They're vegan friends, vegan family members, vegan significant others. So these gifts are all going to be perfect for the vegan in your life. Before we get into it, if you don't know anything about veganism and you're buying or making something for a vegan, vegans do not eat any animal products. They do not use any animal products and they don't use products that test on animals. So for example, makeup, you wanna make sure that makeup is cruelty free. Clothing, you wanna make sure it doesn't have wool, there's no leather, silk. Um, if you're baking, obviously no eggs, no dairy, no honey, anything like that. So just to give you guys help if you don't know what to do for a vegan loved one. I also have two holiday gift guides from the two previous holiday years, so I will link them down below so you can have tons of ideas. I'm gonna give you 25 ideas in this video, so let's just get right into it. All right, so my first gift idea, I say this one every year, but is to donate to an animal sanctuary or to a charity in the person's name. Of course, this is going to depend on the person you're giving the gift to. Not everybody will appreciate this kind of a gift, especially if it's like a younger child or something they may want, like a toy, which we can't blame them for. But I think this is a really nice gift to give. I personally think this is really nice because as somebody who doesn't really need a lot of things anymore, like I'm an adult, I just buy myself if I need something for myself, then, you know, at least somebody's money is going towards something good and it's in my name and whatever. I think it's a nice gesture. My second gift idea is going to be a food store gift card. So like Sprouts, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, anything really. I mean, all food stores have gift cards you can buy now. Sorry, that's Roxy making noise on the bed. But I think this is a really nice idea. Vegan, like mock meats and stuff like that can be expensive. And I know like if somebody gave me like a $50 Whole Foods gift card, I would just kind of like go crazy with it and have like a nice time and get myself some things that I don't normally buy on like an everyday basis. So it's a nice gift to give. I mean, it's a little bit impersonal, but it could be really good, especially for like younger college kids too. Gift idea number three is a cookbook or an ebook. This is a little bit of a plug for my ebook, I won't lie. I have a new ebook, 30 vegan recipes out. You can purchase in the description box down below. But anything like this is really great, especially for newer vegans or older vegans. I mean, anybody. There's tons and tons of cookbooks out there, tons and tons of ebooks out there, and just so many great resources now. And I think giving a gift like that is awesome. Number four is going to be tickets to an animal sanctuary. So going along the lines of like not really needing things, I really value experiences now more than physical gifts. So I would love to get a tickets to like an animal sanctuary or something along the lines of that, something in line with my beliefs and my values. So you can just Google like local animal sanctuaries in your area. If you're in the New York, the dogs are fighting. If you are in the New York area, the Catskill Animal Sanctuary is absolutely amazing and I can't recommend it enough. I went there and I was just like so happy to be there and see all these animals that have been saved and rescued and it was really magical. Okay, I brought the dogs downstairs because they were being bad and playing. So back onto our list. Number five is going to be a cast iron skillet. Cast iron skillets are actually not all too expensive and they make a great gift and like you could pair it with like a wooden spoon or a whisk or something for somebody in your life who loves to cook. You can get them online, you can get them at like Marshalls or Target, there's plenty of places and you can go as expensive as one from like Williams and Sonoma or you get one at Marshalls. So great options there. Number six is going to be a reusable shopping bag that is customizable. So I actually got sent this specific shopping bag in a PR package and I love it. It is a little pricey, but it's so high quality. Literally every single cashier compliments me on this bag. You can fit so much inside of it. It's plastic lined inside and you can just write something cute on the outside like Francesca's shopping bag, Francesca's groceries or like vegan groceries or whatever really. But it's honestly, it's so nice. Just make sure you get the one that I linked in the description box because the other ones have leather handles. But yeah, it's a really, really nice shopping bag. and. I think it's nice because it's something that people won't buy for themselves, but it's a really thoughtful gift. Number seven is going to be a vegan jacket from the company Noise. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but their jackets are amazing. I have one that I have the Gigi Parker, the one that I linked down below. Super high quality. The faux fur looks really nice. It's awesome. It's kind of like a really good alternative to a Canada Goose, in my opinion. And the jackets are beautiful. I mean, they have so many options. I just linked kind of a popular one down below. 
So yeah, definitely a great gift. Number eight is a cutting board. So this cutting board is so cute. I found it online on Etsy and I just think it's adorable. And I think things like this in kitchens are just so, so cute. And it's like also really cute if you have somebody who lives with a non-vegan and maybe they don't want to share their cutting boards and stuff like that, then they can have their own little, this is where I murder vegetables cutting board. Number nine goes along the lines of a customized t-shirt. So I just picked this one out. It says tequila is vegan and it's really cute. Etsy has, a million vegan shirts, ones that say like vegan babe, powered by plants, you know, so many options and shirts like that are really cute for sleeping, for just like casual beach days, just a really nice gift and they're not like all too expensive. Number 10, this is a really another cute kitchen gift. It says vegan kitchen, just a really cute little sign just to pop in your kitchen, looks so sweet and so cute and I just think it would be a nice gift. I know like I would love something like that in my kitchen. Number 11 is going to be makeup. So I have a few makeup like choices I'll present to you guys in the video. This is specifically e.l.f. makeup. So e.l.f. makeup is really, really cheap drugstore makeup that is cruelty free and super high quality. I love e.l.f. makeup. I've been using it for years, using it before I went vegan. And everything is like three to $15 and everything is cruelty free and everything is high quality. And it's awesome. You can buy this stuff online. You can get it at a Target. You can get it at a drugstore. It's really great for like younger kids too who are just starting out into getting into makeup. If you don't want to buy them something super expensive. And it's great. I mean, it's great for anybody. <laughs> I really love their stuff. I use it a lot. Number 12 is going to be a vegan mug. So again, I just kind of picked a random one from online. There are tons of them. My mom got me a mug that says, eat like you give up. There's a bad word in there, I don't want to say it, um, but there's a curse word. And it's really cute that like the U is put out with the vegetable. So it's really cute, I love it, and it's just like a fun little gift. And again, I just think it's something nice because I'm the kind of person, I don't necessarily want to wear like a big shirt that says vegan, but I love having like little vegan trinkets and like things that do say vegan on them. So number 13 is going to be this leave-in hair conditioner from Way. So I know this sounds silly, but I try to buy gifts for people that I think they necessarily won't buy for themselves. And I don't think people are necessarily gonna be like jumping out to go buy a $26 leave-in conditioner, but this conditioner, first of all, it smells so good. It smells like florally and beautiful and it makes your hair so shiny and so soft. I actually got like a little pack, like I had a Sephora, um, enough bonus points to buy like a whole trial size of things like the hairspray and the leave-in oil and everything I tried was really, really nice and it is all cruelty free. So really awesome, definitely check it out, especially for somebody who likes hair and makeup and things like that. And like I said, it just makes your hair so soft and so shiny. Okay, number 14. So for anybody who needs to buy something for the men in their life, I found these really awesome men's vegan boots. Um, they were about $90, which I think is like a great gift price for, you know, like a boyfriend or a dad or an uncle or a grandpa or whoever, really. The boots looked really nice. I mean, I don't know anything about the company. I just kind of Googled vegan men's boots and these came up and I thought they were really nice. So if you just need some inspiration for a man gift, because I feel like it's harder to buy a gift for men than it is to buy a gift for a woman. In the same vein, women's over the knee boots. So I picked these ones off of Lulu's. There's tons of vegan women boot options. Lulu's is actually really nice because everything on their set is also cruelty free and made with like faux leather and faux fur and everything like that. Yeah, these aren't that expensive. These are at $53. I got a pair from DSW that I really like. So there's tons of options and I think that's a nice gift to give. Number 16 is going to be a soy candle. So this is something that people probably don't think about, but candles are made with beeswax and that is not considered a vegan friendly. But there are so many soy candles out there and they will say it right on there like or like a soy or a coconut wax blend or something like that. I really love these ones from Target so I just link these ones. I've also gotten really good ones at Marshalls, at like TJ Maxx, like places like that and they smell really good, they burn just the same. And yeah, so I just think a candle is always a nice gift to give to somebody. I love getting candles. I love candles in general, so. Okay, number 17 is going to be more on the higher end of makeup. So I actually, full disclosure, I did work with this company recently. This is not a sponsored video by them or anything like that. So I just want you to know that I did work with the company, but I wouldn't be telling you guys about it if I didn't actually really love it. And it's this makeup palette from the company called Il Maquillage. So everything for them is cruelty free and it's really nice, super high quality. 
The metallics and shimmery colors are so nice on the eyes. So yeah, I mean, there's tons of other makeup companies too, like Urban Decay is all cruelty-free, Kat Von D. There's so many, but if you wanna buy somebody like a little bit of a higher end gift, Tarte as well, in the makeup category, something like that is really great. You know, for the cheaper makeup, like Elf, NYX, Milani, is better. Okay, number 18 is going to be this faux fur jacket. So I don't really think about this company. This magazine randomly came to my house. However, the stuff looks really amazing and I think it would make a great gift. They have like fur, um, like all faux fur. So like they have throws, they have blankets, they have jackets, they have everything. It is a pricier price point. Keep that in mind. But I mean, honestly, the jackets look amazing. And don't be thrown off because they'll say like faux fur, mink, trim jacket but like everything is fake on it it's just kind of like they're telling you what the faux fur is kind of like recreating like i said i don't really think about the company everything looks amazing i have not personally ordered something for myself but i don't think that they could charge such a high price point if the stuff was really that crappy number 19 is going to be ray dunn cookware so i love this stuff i have so much of it you guys see in a lot of my videos it's just those like really cute white dishes that'll say like one word so i said pie or baked or homemade and i think it's adorable you can get it online you can get it at target i mean not target marshall sorry and marshall's is usually like even cheaper you can get it online for really good for anybody in your life who loves to cook who thinks stuff like that is cute it's really not all that expensive and it's really nice quality stuff number 20 is going to be pacifica perfume so pacifica is a cruelty free um vegan friendly you know like skincare company and they have perfumes and makeup and everything and i think people forget that you know fragrances can be and are tested on animals so if you want to buy the vegan in your life some perfume or cologne to make sure they smell good make sure you're buying it from a cruelty free company um the pacifica stuff is all cruelty free so i'll link it down below of course number 21 is a hand cream set this specific company 100 percent pure is like natural makeup as well as natural beauty and then everything is cruelty free and most of it is vegan they put everything very clearly linked on their website but i think a hand cream set is just so nice because i mean who doesn't love like luxurious hand creams and again i think it's something that people don't necessarily purchase for themselves but will appreciate number 22 is going to be vegan men and women's washes so i found these watches online they look really nice vegan leather straps so that's also important to remember, you know, like even accessories can have leather in them and they look really nice and you know, a watch is great for anybody. Number 23 is going to be this very cute vegan apron from Etsy and I just think it's so funny and adorable, especially for a guy too, like guys who love grilling and stuff. I think that would be really cute, obviously like a vegan guy. Any apron I think is so nice, especially for somebody who loves to cook and people who don't want to get their clothes dirty while they're cooking. Okay, number 24, I know this is going to sound silly, but there is this vegan fried chicken that looks so damn good. I haven't even been able to get my hands on it because it is always, literally always out of stock. You have to be on the mailing list to get this stuff, okay? And all I know is if somebody got this for me for Christmas, I would be thrilled, like thrilled off my seat, so happy. So if you wanna buy somebody food for the holidays, Try this stuff, try it for them. I have heard phenomenal things. It was on Shark Tank. Like I said, you have to be on the mailing list to get it. So if you, it's something you think you're interested in, sign up for the mailing list now because it may not even be available last minute. But I don't know, all I know is it looks really good. And like if somebody bought me vegan fried chicken for Christmas, I'd probably love them. Our last idea is an Angela Roy bag. I think I include this every year, but they're really nice, super high quality, vegan leather, gorgeous, gorgeous bags and they range anywhere in like the 190 to 300 dollar price range cross body bags tote bags like tons of stuff and then one other idea is of course always to bake somebody something i think homemade gifts are the best gifts like nothing honestly nothing warms my heart more than a homemade gift i think that is the sweetest nicest thing the sun decided to pop out and it's shining on my face weirdly but i think it's the sweetest nicest gift you can give to somebody nothing for me speaks more than a homemade gift and you know if somebody made me a tray of vegan cookies, I would be so happy, you know? So with that in mind, 
you know, tons of recipes on this channel, tons of recipes on the internet. So if you can't afford to really give somebody a super big gift or something, don't worry, you can always make them something. I think anybody appreciates a homemade gift. All right guys, and that was the 2019 holiday gift guide. I hope you found it helpful. Hopefully it gives you some gift ideas. I like to get this out right in the beginning of December because I know this is the time we're all looking for gifts to give to friends, loved ones, secret Santas, holiday parties, anything. It is the season of giving. So thank you guys so much for watching. I, I will see you. I don't know when I'll see you next, but I'm going to start uploading a lot more actually for the month of December. So I think I'm going to do three uploads a week. I usually do vegan miss, which I think I'll still call it vegan miss this year, but I cannot commit to a video every day until Christmas this year. Not happening. I'm pretty burnt out and have a lot of work going on outside of YouTube. So it'll probably be three videos a week this year. And if you need tons of recipe ideas and everything like that, I have two vegan misses from the last two previous years. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope everyone's doing well and I'll see you soon. Bye.